Chapter 108 The sound of wind escaped from Hyunjong's mouth. Still, he didn't risk turning his eyes away from the center for even a moment. Hyunjong's gaze moved from Lee Songbaek to Chongmyung. Another win. After winning nine times, Chongmyung was waiting for his final opponent. The elders and disciples that gathered together were watching in suffocating silence. No one wanted to disturb this atmosphere by speaking first. Doubts about Chongmyung. Doubts about the situation. Those were probably valid concerns to consider, but they could find out later. What was important now was that Chongmyung was on the verge of achieving a full victory over the Jongnam sect. Has this ever happened in the history of Mount Hua? Mount Hua and the Jongnam sect have always been wary of each other. Looking at it objectively, Mount Hua often stood ahead of the Jongnam sect throughout history. Of course, the tide had turned in recent generations, but looking at both sects' histories, it was undeniable. Yet, as far as Hyunjong knew, there was never a situation in Mount Hua's history where they crushed the Jongnam sect so one-sidedly. Of course, there were legends that the Jongnam sect couldn't even step outside during the Plum Blossom Sword Saints era. But that was a different matter. There had never been an official incident like this. At Mount Hua's darkest hour, an unprecedented event was unraveling before their eyes in this time of hardship. They were unable to focus on anything else. Hyun Jung looked at Chung Myung, who was staring at the other sect. Confident. Hyun Jung was more impressed by that dignified attitude than the victories he achieved. Just when was it? When was the last time? that a member of Mount Hua could proudly stand against the Jongnam sect. Was it ever possible for them to stand tall? Oh, my ancestors. Hyun Jong's eyes kept watering. As Mount Hua's sect leader, he knew that he needed to remain calm and shouldn't show such emotions. However, the passion rising from his heart was overwhelming. Sect leader, don't say anything. Hyun Jong shook his head at Hyun Sang's call. For now, let's wait and see what more he can show to us. Everyone held their breath and focused on Chong Myung's every move. Maybe today. A hopeful light that he had never seen before emerged in Hyun Jung's eyes. Maybe the fate of Mount Hua will change. Strange. The gazes that pierced him. The feeling of his toes touching the floor. The wooden sword in his hand. All of that was different from usual. Jin Gomlyung stepped on stage feeling a burden that was unfamiliar to him. Strange. Jin Gomlyung felt it. This wasn't the sort of gaze that normally poured onto him. Jin Gomlyung had already received looks of anticipation and excitement. Right. He was a valiant martial artist that carried the future of the sect. Those who saw him always looked at him with pride and expectation. This was the first time he received such looks of anxiety and concern. Why? Why are they looking at me like that? Jin Gomlyung raised his head and saw the figure of Chong Myung looking back at him. Right, because of him. It was incomprehensible, but something was raging inside him. Jin Gomlyung worked hard all his life to get to where he stood now. He strove to have his potential recognized and consistently lived up to the extraordinary expectations of those around him. Naturally, he began to be praised for his efforts. He was a man that might someday become the sect leader of the Jongnam sect. It was the recognition and expectations he earned throughout his life. But in less than an hour, it all turned into concern and worry. Am I that unreliable? To the extent that they were worried he couldn't handle a single child from a fallen sect, a wave of cold and heavy anger swept through Jin Gum Myung's body. He stared intently into Chung Myung's eyes. I didn't like him from the start. That arrogant face, the pretentious attitude, and the sharpness of his gaze. Above all else, Jin Gum Myung despised how arrogantly he behaved. Even when Chung Myung was face to face with Jin Gum Myung, it felt as though he was looking down on the Jongnam sect. Jin Gum Myung took a deep breath and began to speak with an emotionless voice. Should I give you a compliment? I don't need that. Chung Myung shrugged his shoulders. 
It's not like I did anything great. Jin Gomneung looked at the child with cold eyes. You dare ignore the Jungnam sect? Ignore? Chong Myung chuckled. It isn't a matter of ignoring you. There's no reason to be proud of bullying the weak. Annoying. Every single word. You. Jin Gomneung stopped himself as he was about to speak before sighing and shaking his head. No, you don't need to be humble. Your skills are enough. Any humility from you will upset me. Hmm? I admit it. Your strength has earned you the right to be arrogant. Just the fact that you defeated nine of us is shocking. You will be recognized as a once-in-a-lifetime genius. Chong Myung narrowed his eyes. Shh! Jin Gom Myung drew his wooden sword and aimed it at Chong Myung. Do you know what your misfortune is? Well, you were born during the same time as me. Chong Myung had a subtle smile while Jin Gom Myung stared at him and continued. As a result of that misfortune, you will always stare at my back, unable to overcome the difference between us. You'll chase after my shadow for the rest of your life. Chong Myung grinned widely. It's good to be so confident. I'm not done yet. Jin Gom Myung spoke coldly. If you hadn't chosen Mount Hua, you might have been able to overcome your misfortune. If you chose the Jongnam sect instead of Mount Hua, you might have had the opportunity to surpass me. Really? You think so? I do. Jin Gom Myung cleared his breath and continued. Mount Hua is still tied down by the past. Its disciples desperately struggle to recover their lost martial arts and recreate their former glory. But not the Jongnam sect. Without lingering on ancient history, we invent a new system and achieve a better future. Jin Gom Myung spoke as if making a declaration. That's why Mount Hua will never be able to catch up with the Jongnam sect. Wah! Ka! Chong Myung exclaimed in admiration. He wanted to clap too. If someone other than the Jongnam sect said it, he might have slapped his Sahyongs on the back of their heads. Look at them and learn something, you bastards! Chong Myung may have shouted that. Unfortunately, the future that Jin Gom Myung was talking about was achieved by stealing Mount Hua's martial arts. Ah, <sighs> what should I do? Two things were necessary to bring the truth to light. The first was acknowledging the truth, and the second was having the power to carry through with that announcement. When the Jongnam sect began to study the martial arts they stole from Mount Hua, Chong Myung was so furious that he was worried he would go insane. But does anger change anything? Realistically, there was no way Mount Hua could punish the Jongnam sect. If the issue was brought to the public, there would only be an outcry of voices demanding that they prove the Jongnam sect was actually learning the Plum Blossom Sword Technique. Even if Mount Hua restored and displayed the true technique, the Jongnam sect would claim that they had been the ones that had their techniques copied and stolen. The weak Mount Hua had no choice but to suffer. Why? They simply didn't have enough power. Martial arts are a sensitive subject. Those who leak their secret techniques would pay with their lives, and those who steal them from others should be prepared for an all-out war. But Mount Hua cannot punish the Jongnam sect. The moment they raise the issue, the Jongnam sect will wage war on Mount Hua, and no one in the world could help them then. No one will risk their lives to defend the collapsing sect. So, Chong Myung stayed patient until this moment. He suppressed his boiling anger and endured his urge to charge into the Jongnam sect and slaughter them all for this moment alone. A gruesome smile spread across his face. The future of the Jongnam sect, that is a good thing to say. Chong Myung smiled at Jin Gom Myung. Right. Chong Myung also thought about the Jongnam sect's future a lot. What to do with their future? Chong Myung left one seat in the Jongnam sect a little while ago. It was unknown if the seed would grow or not, but it served its purpose. So, he would no longer act as a third-class disciple for Mount Hua from this moment on. He would be acting as Chong Myung, the Plum Blossom Sword Saint, to those filthy people who ripped him off after they showed grace. That future, Chong Myung raised his sword. I'll present it to you as a gift. Right, it'll be a gift that you will never forget for the rest of your life, so you better keep your eyes open. Jin Gom Myung looked at him, unable to understand, but Chong Myung smiled. The perfect gift. Like a curse, restoring Mount Hua 
and destroying the current Jongnam sect wouldn't be enough to relieve Cheng Myung's anger. He was about to cut off the Jongnam sect's future forever. You covet the sword of Mount Hua? Cheng Myung smiled and laughed like a wolf, pacing his prey. Then receive it properly. I will show it to you, so don't forget it. Cheng Myung tightly grasped his sword. Get away. Sasuk, Baek Chun Sayong. Mount Hua's disciple couldn't breathe as they looked at the center of the arena, but were startled when a voice came from behind. Baek Chun staggered his way inside. Sayong, are you alright? Listening to the questions pouring in, Baek Chun simply waved his hand and walked ahead. Seeing this, Baek Sang shouted, Ch Chair! Get a chair! Yes, Sasuk! One of the third class disciples hurriedly brought a chair for Baek Chun. However, Baek Chun only stared at Chong Myung and Jing Gom Myung without even looking at the chair. I need to see this. As soon as he opened his eyes, he heard that Chong Myung had nine straight wins. It was impossible for him to remain lying down after hearing that. Even if his body was shattered, he needed to be there to cheer for Chong Myung, Jing Gom Myung, and Chong Myung. Two people that held a special meaning to him were facing one another. Win Chong Myung. Baek Chun's earnest eyes shone with a desperate light. Swish, swish. Both Chong Myung and Jing Gom Myung's swords began to move with a low sound. Whatever the outcome may be, the results of this battle would ring throughout the land and echo across the world. Mount Hua's disciples opened their eyes wide. They refused to miss even a single moment of this historic battle.